Corey. Corey Norris um, just finished up a race for county council. I don't know whether he's too, too sad that he didn't win or not. Um, I'm disappointed I can't call him one of the insiders now. But, um, but Corey has a couple of things he'd like to share with us about his race and his experience and uh, just might help us understand what kind of things we can be prepared for as we move ahead. So Corey, if we take a few minutes and share with us. Give me a chance to stand up and drip dry. <laughs> um, I didn't really, I wasn't going to take up too much time. I just, uh, I wrote an article on, and put on uh, Brush Fires for Liberty. Um, I encourage you to go out and read it. Uh, the title of the article is You Get What You Vote For. But the whole point of the article is I feel like people really need to know who you're dealing with and who you're talking about. Um, I don't think everybody understands or everybody quickly repeats the, the old adage about you know, how sleazy politicians are. But I think we lose sight of what that really means. And I can tell you in practice, they are a lot sleazier than anyone, anyone would really think. Um, it's the thing that stood out to me the most in running was how, and I've, Lee and I have had conversations about a word that's better to use because there's only one word that constantly comes to mind, um, but just how vile these people are. Um, and how the kinds of things they'll do to hang on to their little piece of power or their perceived piece of power. Um, and I really think that everywhere you go, you should be making sure that voters are aware of what's in office. Um, there are probably some good politicians out there. Um, I just haven't run across them. Um, so, but. I'll give you kind of a high level. Um, there's petty things, there's really petty, childish things. Um, like, uh, I, for lack of a better way to put it, manipulation of uh, um, campaign signs. Um, whether it be stealing them or tearing them down, or, uh, you know, I, I, one of the things that was funny, so the, uh, the person I was running against had the uh, ability to outspend me probably 20 to 30 fold. Um, so, so to imagine that they actually had a need to touch a single sign of mine, or um, one of the other things they do is go around and put their signs in front of mine after I put mine out. Um, New York for a second. Let's just be clear. Corey's being polite and saying the person I ran against is Johnny Jeffcoat, <laughs> who's oh, yeah, was from across the lake. Yes. Um, yeah. It, just, just be clear. Yes. And, I mean, I didn't see who was actually. I was not saying a name yet because I didn't see who was actually doing it, but I just know that it was being done. Whether it was Jeff Cutt himself, I know Jeff Cutt was putting most of his signs out, um, so, uh, or it was uh, an overzealous supporter. I, I can't really say one way or another. Um, but but the, 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 the childishness of things, I mean, the man had enough money to print enough signs to have a sign on every corner in the district, um, and to really believe that they, they needed to go and tamper with my signs. Uh, is asinine. Um, uh, a day when a bunch of us got together, a bunch of people, good many people in this room got together and helped me campaign. Um, uh, in my neighborhood, there were um, Jeff Cook flyers on every mailbox um, within my neighborhood and a couple other neighborhoods right in the area, but there were none anywhere else in the county. Um, that was kind of an intimidation tactic to, to say, you know, we know where you live kind of thing. Um, I have not been, I've never made any, um, never not been clear about the fact that I, the house that I live in now I rent um, because I still own a home in Colorado. When I moved back here five years ago, the market has been the bottom of the market out there, so I've been able to afford to sell a house in Colorado. So I rent that house out, take money out of pocket every month to pay my mortgages on that house, um, but I haven't been able to afford to save, hopefully that's about to change, but um, so I did put in an offer on a house, but I hadn't been able to get into a house here yet. I've never made any, and I've never tried to pretend like that wasn't, like that was a secret or anything. Um, but on the day of the campaign, I was at one of the polls, standing out in front of the uh, poll, and um, was talk I was actually talking to a supporter of his who was there shaking hands, and his son showed up, his younger son showed up, and um, introduced himself, I spoke to him, and he says, um, the first thing he says is, so, so you know so-and-so. <laughs> And the name I immediately recognized, but I couldn't figure out why I knew it. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I 
knew I knew it, but, and I, so I said, ah, the name sounds really familiar, but I don't know why it sounds familiar. And he says, oh, he's a whatever here in town. I said, ah, you know, that really sounds familiar, uh, but I don't know why. And um, I was actually about to leave anyway. Went and got in my car, and I was headed to another pool, and I called my wife. I said, how do I know the name of such and such? She said, oh, that's the guy that owns our house. And um, we deal with a we deal with a um, property management company, so I've only seen his name like in a couple like we've had an air conditioner repair, and whenever they hand us the uh, the sheet, I think it has his name on it instead of the property management company. Or something. I've only seen it like once or twice. I, it, I know I knew it, but just didn't know how I know it. Now, um, why else? Why would someone do that? I mean. It's public record. I, I, I mean, you probably can figure out that as long as you get my address, you probably can figure out who the, is on the deed or whatever. Um, but it's the fact that they go out of the way to point it out. Um, on top of things like uh, anonymous uh, text messages, um, rather overtly, you know, um, rude and threatening type of text messages. Um, actually, one number in particular, I had block. Um, and I think. Some other people in this room have gotten same types of things. Um, the fact that uh, just about every bureaucrat there is in Lexington County was out campaigning for Jeff Coat today, but except Jeff Coat, evidently, so I couldn't find him. Uh, uh, was out campaigning for him the day of the election. The clerk of court, the mayor of West Columbia. Um, oh gosh, a couple of political hacks. Um, Let's see who else. His there was wife. Uh, his wife. Yes, his wife. Uh, and, uh, Jackie, Jackie tell everybody what happened to you at the poll that you were at. Well, I didn't know who she was, but I, she and some others were standing near the door shaking hands, but I was going to wave signs, so I had to be out by the road. And she went to her car and got a Johnny Jeffco sign and came and planted it right next to me. And there were no other signs around. They were all across the street. And she was just really cold to me and then I found out that, that was his wife. I was in their home precinct, which I didn't even realize, but she was that way to me all day and then right when the polls closed, she came up and, and she said, we haven't met. So kind of looking down at me. I'm so and so Jeff So she was pretty rude. The, the other more kind of more vital things were some of the coordinated attacks on me on the editorial page um, by people who were his buddies, from what I could tell, that uh, they were just outright lies. Um, it, and, and what was very glaring to me is I know for a fact there were letters, in, you know, in my defense. I, I wasn't going to write because I wasn't going to give them the credit. I mean, but there were letters in my defense written and sent to the paper. Never heard anything out of them. Um, that should tell you something about um, who the socialist paper prefers. Um, but the um, I think the thing that that I that needs to be taken away from all of this from everyone, and I'll, sorry, Nicole had her hand up. The thing that, I think the thing that needs to be taken away from this with everyone is you're not dealing with um, good people. I mean, I, listen, I'm, I'm about as imperfect as they come. I am an extremely flawed human being. So I'm not sitting here, and I'm not sitting in a place of judgment when I say, but I'm telling you, you're not dealing with good people. And it's not, the, the thing that's worse is, is anybody that knows me knows what I am. I don't, I don't hide. I don't pretend like I'm something else. That's all these people do. That's all they do. They, I mean, they, they literally smile in your face while they stab you in the side and laugh and do it with joy. That's what everyone needs to take away from this. Is these these are not just well-meaning people who want to help us out. They are really, really, really vile people. Evil. Absolutely. That want to do everything they can to hold on to power so that they can lord over everyone else, so they can steal from you, so they can tell you what you can and can't do with your property, so that they can control your life and they will go they will not they they will stop at nothing to ensure that they are able to continue doing it. I'm not a conspiracy theorist I, I'm not talking about conspiracies but what I am talking about is people 
who will do anything that they can, anything within their means, to hold on to the power that they have and the money that they have. I mean, Jeff Code himself, he's a town of Lexington employee. The guy's going to get double the guaranteed retirement. Your money when he retires. Because he has a GED. Because in the private sector, he's not worth a dog. Now, I don't have anything against anybody who has just a GED. If you're a hardworking person, but if you're a leech living off the taxpayers, you've got a problem with that. So I think that people need to understand what you're dealing with. And and don't don't kid yourself. Far too often I hear I hear it. No, actually not far too often. I hear it all the time. You know, he's he's really a, he's a good person. Really? <laughs> How do you know? How do you know? You want to find out if they're a good person, run against them. <laughs> then you'll find out how not good they are. See, that's the thing, is they're really, 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 really good at making everybody think that they're really good. They're self <laughs> Yes. Yeah. They are. The word Seriously? is Machiavelli. They are. So, um, 